Okay, hello there. Indipotus is returning to you. Another episode of Skyblock. So, last time we left it, I think it was the big tree, grass bean growing. Well, now we have wheat, because I've got a skeleton fall off that big tree, and so I decided to cut tree down. And we've got some melons and pumpkins growing. You'll see there's lots of jack-o'-lanterns lying around. It's been two days since my last one, and uh, I just let it run. Things grow, go off and do something, come back. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, not lots changed here. I think it's about the same sort of setup. I've took the water and lava out. It's there now as a lava bucket. Uh, because today is the day we are going to get the nether portal running. Uh, I'm going to leave the lava bucket out of my quick inventory because the last thing I want is to accidentally have that fall on the floor. Ow! That was a cactus. Uh, I'm a little bit jumpy at the minute so I'm just going to change my settings. Just uh, pause it while I do this. Hopefully that might have helped a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure it will. So as you can see, the tree's gone. Been replaced with just three little trees here. I've got the three cacti out. I've made it a little bit nicer. A bit more uh, ergonomic aesthetic to the eye. You'll see we have plenty of animals. Now, bizarrely, the horses spawn first. Three horses. Then I think it was the two cows and then the sheep. So I'll say hello to the horses. Hello horses, how are you doing? Oh yes. So I've got plenty of sheep though now, some chickens, got one black one, two white ones and a light grey. So I'm going to die though soon and then we can start breeding multicolored sheep to get the different colours of wool we need. And I've started building a staircase to heaven. Or stairway to heaven. This is my uh, access point. And this is going to be for my mob spawner. We're currently 10 high. Um, I fell off the edge and died. I'll freely admit that. So um, thankfully I was only carrying some bits and bobs which I've replaced here. Ready for when I carry on. Um, I might do that next episode. Uh, today we're going to go and get the ice block to make our infinite water source. So I'm going to go to the nether portal which is far. Now, in the past I've seen pigmen go through the, the portal, so I've made a holding area where I can kill them at my heart's content. Right, so how to light the nether portal, I hear you ask me. Well, we need to get some wood, which I'm just going to grab from this tree. And you place the wood up against the portal and then set it alight which is what the lava's for in the lava bucket. Okay. So I'm gonna put one there, one there. Surround the area that I don't want to be set alight. That's the last thing we need. And then place lava in there, one hopes. So hopefully that will set a light to that wood. The wood will um, the wood will set a light on this side and because it's near the base of the portal it will ignite the portal. So it's just a matter of waiting for that to happen now. So if I put that in there Right in there, that's, that should light quite happily. So while that's lighting, um, I'll place that back in there and we'll go to the little workshop because I've got something to show you. I've been busy. I've been busy making completed challenges. So I'm marking the ones like building a hut and stuff as just oak saplings so I know that they're that, that, there. Uh, but as you can see, I've got quite a few little things completed here, little challenges. Um, I think I'm about halfway-ish, 
soon. 50 challenges, there must be 9, 9, 20 there. So we're almost there, we're about halfway. So, um, I think I've just completed capture screen, there we go. Capture screen is done. And what else is in my furnaces? No fire yet over there. So I'll just plonk all the bits and bobs in there. I don't need much of this when I go to the nether. I don't need torches. I don't need any food either. I don't want to be set alight or anything. So come on, set alight. Uh, sun's rising, so that's a good sign. Hopefully we're going to get some ignition here. Hmm. Let's try two more bits of cobbly stony. Like that. Let's see if that works. Okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll pause it until it sets a light because I don't want the recording to be too long. Okay, so, oh, I just missed that. <laughs> um, well, it's set a light anyway. You can see it's all it's all a light. Um, the wood was burning and it's set a light. And I think I just said set a light about 70 times then. And um, ignited the uh, portal. So that's done. So we'll get rid of that. I've turned very basic animations at the minute because I'm finding. It lags a little bit while I'm recording. I don't really like that. Uh, I can't really afford a better computer, so I do apologise, guys. You'll just have to make do with what we've got. So we don't need the lava bucket now, but we do need an empty bucket. So I'm going to go back up here. So there's the infinite water source in a minute. We'll have that. And put the lava back in here. I wasn't sure if the animations were what making it slow. I don't think it is the animations. But okay, so let's run back now. We haven't got long left. Go through to the nether. And I'll show you how to get all this. So you're going to build a little stairway down. Here. That level there. And then I did bring a crafting table, yeah. It's just very quick trying to put this together earlier on. So we're going to make a load of half blocks and then put those around the edge. And then when they're around the edge, you'll see something absolutely amazing happen. So... Now, if you walk up on top of here, like that halfway on and then hit it all this should go into your inventory so we've got 14 crouch hit 16 do that again and hit in the inventory see so just rinse and repeat for it all the time but at the minute, all I want to do is get this mushroom and this mushroom. Where, where is the mushroom? I think it went through. Sugar cane. No, we can leave the chest here. Go through the portal. 
the mushroom on the other side. Yeah, there it is. And we're going to go back to the house. So, there you have it. We've got the ice block. That's how you make an ever portal. And we're going to take the water out of there. And put the ice block in. Do that. Break the ice block water. Water. And break. Break. And we have infinite water source. Oh yeah. Scratch that one off the list. Put this back up here. And hey presto. Plenty of water. Right. Next episode we'll be looking at making this monster spawner. What I'll do is I'll complete this staircase. As you can see it's just a basic staircase up like that. I'll complete that all the way to the top and then we'll go through making the spawner. So next episode you'll see me start with that and uh, then we'll try and die some sheep I reckon. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. That's how we do it. And I'll see you next time.